Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part one of a three part series I am making on all the costumes for the Nightmare Before Christmas. So in today's video, I will be making the mayor and Oogie Boogie. For the mayor's head, I just grabbed a lampshade from our thrift store for $2. I peeled off all the wrapping and then I am just going to be painting the front and the back different colors for the two different faces. So this first color is a peachy pink color. I will have all of the paint colors as well as all the materials needed for these costumes in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. On the other side of his face, I will be painting it a light bluish color. For the front of his face, I didn't show you this part because you really couldn't see it. I outlined his whole face with a pencil and I did it really lightly. So if I did mess up, it'd be easy to fix. I'm just looking at a picture on my computer for reference. Now for the cheeks, I got a little bit of this peachy color on this sponge brush and I'm just blending it out like you would on your real cheek, you know, really lightly. And just using that blending motion, I outlined the lips, the cheeks, and I also outlined the bottom of his face with that color. Now going in with some bright white paint, I am painting on his teeth. Again, I'm looking at a picture for reference so I know exactly how his smile looks. Once his teeth were done, I outlined everything with black using a really fine tipped paintbrush. And then I'm also going to be drawing lines for his teeth. Moving on to the back side, I am just outlining his entire face structure with a very light gray color and I am just blending this in. It looks pretty sloppy, but now I know where exactly I will be doing his face. I found this mustard color and I thought this would be a good color for his eyes. It's time to call it quits The kitchen tap is broken Drip, 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 drip Dirty dishes and and then I'm outlining his eyes with a green. It kind of looks a little bit different here, but I do go over all of the outlines again with a darker green. It's like we're scared of trying So different from when we started off Now we're just like Think it's time to call it quits Think it's time to call it
Again, with a really fine tipped paintbrush, I'm going in with some black and painting on his zigzag teeth. Now for the mayor's hat. I picked up some of this foam poster board from Dollar Tree and measuring the bottom of the width of the hat, I used that for the reference to cut it out. But that is what the bottom of the hat is. It's just that thick poster board. And then using a normal poster board from Dollar Tree, I am rolling it up and gluing it together with some hot glue. And this will be the top portion of his hat. Now to get it to stay on, I just cut a few slits at the bottom so that I could fold them down and then I will just glue this with the hot glue on the top of the hat. The last thing I did for the hat is I glued a little piece of gray felt to the bottom and I feel like that gave it the perfect finishing touch. To finish off the mayor's look, you will need a gray suit coat jacket. I picked this up for a few dollars at our thrift store, as well as a white dress shirt and some black slacks. You will also want to have a spider and we just safety pinned that to the shirt. And of course his mayor award pin. Moving on to Oogie Boogie, we're gonna start out with a mask. And I just picked up this mask from Dollar Tree. I will tell you guys, I followed another YouTube video for this. And that is what inspired me to decide to actually make this costume instead of buy it. Cause there was a few costumes. I was like, you know what? I feel like it would just be easier to buy. But for the Oogie Boogie costume, if you get a nice one, they're upwards of two and $300. So I figured I should try making this. So all I'm doing is using this Dollar Tree mask and I'm gluing on this piece of poster board so that I can just have more room for the mouth because Oogie Boogie's face is longer than this mask. And using some air dry modeling clay, I am going to be molding the shape of his face. This does not need to be perfect. All you really need is to get an outline of what his face is going to look like so that when you put the burlap over the top of it, it will mold to the face. What you really wanna pay attention to is making sure that his nose is flat because he doesn't have a nose. So flatten out that nose area and then just give him those really bulgy, big, huge eyes and also the lips. You want the lips to be as big as possible. This did take over 24 hours to dry. So if you want to get started on this costume for Halloween, then you better start doing it like right now. <laughs> While that's drying, we are just going to outline the body for Oogie Boogie. So I'm drawing my husband's outline so I know about how big I need this. My brother, who is I think 6'3 or 6'4, is actually going to be in this costume. So I did have to add a little bit of extra at the top. But what I'm doing is getting two pieces of this body shape. You are going to hot glue the seams. So on the edges of the bottom, I am leaving that open so that he can stick his feet through because that will be a separate thing. But again, I'm just gluing all the sides and I also only glued it up about three fourths of the way because I will be adding arms into that. <laughs> So this felt portion, all I am doing is gluing this so that I can shove stuffing into it. And I'll be doing this on the front and the back side of the costume. I'm 
I picked up the stuffing at Walmart for $10. I think it was about 30 at Joanne. So just so you know, it's a lot cheaper if you pick it up at Walmart. I didn't show you this part, but I did turn this inside out and that is the blob that's laying next to me on the other side. So once you have it all glued, then you will turn it inside out and you have your body. Now I'm just adding some feet and I'll also be adding some arms. I just traced my leg and then I also trace my arm and that's how I get the arm and the leg shape. You're going to need four of each obviously because you are going to be gluing two of them together and then folding them inside out. Make sure that you are not gluing the tops of the legs and the arms because that is where obviously you need to be putting your feet and your arms through. Once you have all your pieces glued together, then I'm just going in with some of this black jute and I'm giving him his stitches. The stitches don't really need to look any certain way. They're very messy on him. So whatever you want to do, just add some black jute through it so that you can see all the cute stitching on all the sides of his body. Okay, we're working on the mask again. As you can see, some of it had actually broken off, but that's okay. Again, all we need is the outline of the lips and the eyes. That's the most important. I am actually leaving this glued to the mask. I hot glued everything so that it stayed on the mask so that you could easily slip it on to your head since it has a strap on the back. But what I'm doing here is I'm just gluing some of this brown felt to the mask because the burlap is see-through. I wanted it to be tan underneath. I don't know if this is necessarily needed, but I do think it helped it look a little bit better. Then going in with some black felt, I am giving him his mouth and again, just hot gluing. I will tell you, I have about 3000 burns from the hot glue gun and I probably used two bags of hot glue sticks. This took a lot of hot glue. Now using some black mesh, that's actually what I stuck in the eyes so that you could still see through them. However, my brother claims that he still could not see. So maybe you don't need as much as I shoved in the little eye holes. Now we're covering his face with some burlap. You want to use a big piece of burlap for this and you will just be molding this to the face. Again, hot glue, whatever you need to stick the hot glue down. I use knives, marker tips, anything but your fingers so that you're not burning yourself a whole bunch. This took about 30 minutes of me working with the burlap and just moving it around, gluing it, making sure it stayed exactly where I wanted it to stay. Once that's done, you want to cut this into kind of a triangle shape, but make sure that your head could fit through it. And then you're going to glue another piece exactly the same size to it. And then you're going to turn it inside out and then you will have your awesome mask. I ended up putting just a little bit of stuffing in the tip of this hat to give it a little bit more of some volume up there. I also ended up pinning back the hat a little bit because this hat kind of flops backwards so I glued that fold just like that so it stays like that now I am going in with some tan paint and just giving him some more shadows on his lips and the top of his eyes and that is all I did guys for this costume and then once my brother was in the costume I actually velcroed the top the neck area that is all just velcroed on so that way you could easily slip out of the costume with no problems i have to say i've just been laughing my head off at all these clips of my brother in this costume i cannot take it seriously but if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up i do have two additional videos for this series so stay tuned for my lock shock and barrel the trick-or-treaters and also my three different jacks i have a separate video for each of those and i hope you stick around to see those as well thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video